Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of a new Trekkie. My five year mission to search out Star Trek media, to seek out our fans and merchandise, to boldly go where no fan has gone before. Greetings and salutations. We're back to talking about Star Trek Enterprise with two episodes, in this case, Stratagem and Harbringer. Let's look at the first episode first. And what happened in uh, Stratagem? What happened was, um, Art Captain Archer and the crew tried to convince uh, a weapon scientist, in this case, Degra, that hey, they have been captured and they had spent several month years in a, a prison, an insectoid prison, and then, hey, we need to know the coordinates to where the Zindi um, weapon location is at so then they can get it and then, you know, put it into it. Go on. That's it. I gotta say, this one was honestly pretty good. The idea of, you know, like, trying to, you know, trick the enemy to buy, you know, psychologically and all that. Like, trying to trick them. It kind of works. Especially in the fact that, you know, it shows how far Archer is willing to go. Whether it is using, a war uh, like, a worm to... Like, you know, brainwash or get remove the memories from the um, enemy to try to convince them, like, say, hey, this is what's actually going on. It has, like, say, a bit of, remind, like, reminds me how, like, a lot of episodes I've noticed from Enterprise have had, like, um, the War and Terror kind of vibes, like, uh, all, like, you know, ideas of trying to get the enemy to talk. And it kind of works in that so much of it is bait geared towards Archer and Degra are on the simulator ship. Oh, okay. And, yeah, like, it shows how far we Archer is willing to go on the, to get the mission done. Whether it's like, you know, trying to get, like, you know, like, hey, we have actually are almost at our location that we need to be for the weapon and, or, you know. And one of the things that made me didn't think, I think this episode made me think, like, okay, like, how, like, the whole idea of trying to trick Degren, trying to get the coordinates to the location. How, at first, like, when I was watching, it made me think, how, how could this have, you know, at least gone bad almost immediately? There's a moment where they are trying to, like, make it seem like they have ran out of air. And Dagger kind of helps Archer out. And they, you know, they pass out. It made me think, like, say, how come at no point during that time frame... When Archer leaves the simulator, Dagger doesn't like you know <laughs> wake up and go, "Hey, where's where's Archer? Where, where, where where's Archer?" Because in that situation, like if you know you were trying to to see someone in that kind of environment, when that you know that enemy eventually go like, well, "Where's my fellow?" You know, or uh, you know, person I'm, who's supposed to be here? Where did they go? Kind of vibes. I don't know. But, I mean, I think it works in that some episodes previously when it came to Enterprise had been trying to be more episodic and away from the whole Zendi storyline. But if I feel like this episode is pretty good. Let's move on to the next episode. In this episode, um, T'Pol, uh, they talk, Tucker and T'Pol, uh, relationship 
eventually is fully develops along with Hayes, like who is like a like a the like a gen like a general and Reed, they end up having like say butting heads and that Reed thinks, hey, this dude who is, you know, more of a military individual who's trying to get everyone briefed for combat is pushing all of our um crew too hard and as well as a no another pl sub a plot involving a mysterious alien who is can in a way come from trying to phase through walls and Fox, one of the things that he does through the episode is trying to like say, hey, I'm going to try and help you. But Archer is not really wanting to do that because this dude might have um, evidence or story or kind of like, you know, like, hey, here's all the information I can give you about the Zindis. I kind of like how like the full, like, you know, relationship that with, between T'Pol and Tucker is fully developed. I suppose I should thank you. No need to thank me. For facilitating my exploration of human sexuality. I'm not sure I follow. It's one of the many aspects of your species which I've been meaning to explore since I left the High Command. Uh. Yeah, it starts off like, say, of them, like, to Paul kind of being jealous that. Uh, Tucker is kind of doing like say shoulder rubs and all that stuff with a with a, a corporal in this case a mandicle and she he she's at first like say hey like Amanda said like say hey you were too rough with your pressure points and all that stuff and if you do it wrong like you know it that's not good I feel like say all the shippers when who are with uh, who are sh who ship Tucker and Tipo were probably were probably giggling or like say yesing to the heavens with this moment. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like say okay, this, this relationship it kind of works honestly. It kind of works. I think it is kind of like oh, kind of vibes. Yeah, I think the fight sequences between, um, Reed and the general dude, they're, like, say, yeah, it's dramatic ideas, and the fighting s sequences, like, we're not to find, it's kind of fun. As you were. But I feel like one thing that would have worked better was if they had actually had issues instead of just having one storyline, you know, just like say, okay, end it now, which, okay, yeah, that's realistic, but at the same time, it would have been like, say, you know, them coming to another station, but still like say, hmm, I'm not sure I can still fully trust you, but eventually, you know, them, like in a later episode, them, them fun, like say, I get your I, I get your perspective kind of feel like instead of like having a storyline and then ending in like one episode, but yeah, I mean maybe the general will eventually come back or what, what like yeah like he he was basically like say uh like a corporal you know you know this guy that says like say oh attention men kind of vibes he had those. But I mean, overall, it was entertaining, but I feel like, say, like, the, it was trying to put so much together, like, in, to fit, you know, and I don't know, I feel like it kind of worked, but I feel like some perspectives could have, like, one of the things they could have just done was just have the alien su subplot and the uh, Tucker and T'Pol relationship as the two main focuses. And then had one main, one episode between, for Reed. I don't know, I'll see you next time.